Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Paper Rose's Bird Days Paper Collection. This is an A5 paper pack. It's single sided, there's 12 different designs. I'll go ahead and flip through these really quickly. You will get two of each design. I love the bright and cheerful colors. I know winter just started here in the United States and it is snowing right now as I'm recording this voiceover. So I thought some spring cards would be really fun to make right now. There are two sheets that have cut apart images and there's even a bunch of sentiments. So you don't have to bring in any stamps if you don't want to. In fact, I won't be using any stamps at all in this video. The last few sheets have some polka dots I love how there are cool and also warm colors included in this collection. Something for everyone. So there are all the different designs and now we're back to the duplicates. So let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I'm using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Sugar Pea Designs. It's their Sugar Sketch number seven. And if you are interested in any of the card sketches I use in this video, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. For this first card, I have a fun pattern paper for the background with lots of birdhouses and tiny hearts. I have some pink polka dot paper and also some stripe paper that I added that diagonal stripe on the card. And I find the easiest way to do that is to cut that strip a little bit wider than your panel, put some adhesive on the back of those strips, flip over the panel and trim off the extra. That way you have it perfectly flush to the edge of your card panel. I'm using some Love From Lizzie peel-offs to put on the edge of each of those strips just for some extra contrast and shine. I did cut them a little bit longer, so I'm just wrapping those ends around the back. Then I'll put ATG tape on the back of this panel and adhere it to some red cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base, and I noticed I had part of the tag on the cardstock, so I decided to pull that off first. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll be adding the stitched oval die cut. I did use some shimmer cardstock, so it has just that little extra shine. Before adhering the oval, I did cut some scrap cardstock just for the upper portion of the oval where it goes off of those two diagonal strips. Now I have a few of the cut aparts, one of the birdhouses, and I'll just glue that down directly using some liquid adhesive. I have two of the birds, and I did put some thin foam squares on the backside. For their tails, I had to cut a super tiny piece of foam. I'll put one of the birds underneath the birdhouse and the other flying more toward the top. I also have two of the heart cut aparts. Put down that pinkish peach heart down first, and then I'll layer the yellow one just slightly on top. For the sentiment, I'm using one of the cut aparts. This is You're the Best. I did cut the right side at an angle just for some extra interest. Before adhering it to the card, I am adding just that small scrap piece of cardstock where it goes off of the oval, and that'll just help keep everything at the same level. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this sketch. For card design number two, I'm using a card sketch from Sugar Pea Designs. This is their Sugar Sketch number 38. For the background, I'm using some of the light blue and white polka dot paper, adding a strip of the sweet little birds in blue with the green tail feather. I'm layering both of these pieces on some blue cardstock, and one of the sides of the cardstock has a pearlescent finish, so it's really pretty. Instead of the three thin strips that are indicated on the sketch, I'm using some of the stripe pattern paper. I'll put some scrap cardstock on the right and left side where it goes off of that bird pattern paper. Again, this is just keeping everything nice and level. Then I'll adhere it using some liquid adhesive. Now I can add this panel onto the blue cardstock layer. And for this card, I will be leaving an eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. The measurements I provide on the card sketches are generally for the pattern paper. Obviously, you can use solid cardstock if you want as well. 
For the cardstock layers, I add an additional eighth of an inch. If you prefer a wider matting, you can add a fourth of an inch. For the three circles, I used a stitched circle die, and this blue cardstock is the backside of the pearlescent cardstock. I'll glue all of those down using some liquid adhesive. And I just eyeballed them to try to get the placement even. Once those are in place, I'll add a few of the cut apart birds. I noticed I forgot to fussy cut out one area around one of the birds, so I did that real quick. I have two of the birds facing to the left and one's facing to the right. I'll glue all of those in place using some liquid adhesive. For the sentiment, I'm using one of the cut aparts. This is your the tweetest. I thought that was really fun. I did cut the right side at an angle and I'll adhere it onto that strip paper at the bottom using some liquid adhesive. So there is my finished card and again I did make two using this sketch. I'm trying to make more cards without a lot of extra dimension, so I did leave off the bling for most of the cards in this video. For card design number three, I'm using a card sketch from MFT. This is number 183. I have the yellow and white polka dot paper for the background, adding some of the bird paper. There's a little yellow and pink birds on here. I did round the bottom two corners. Then I'll layer all of these pieces on some red cardstock trying to make sure to get this piece nice and straight. I'm glad that the polka dots in the background are straight on the pattern paper. Sometimes they're slightly off, so it's easier to get items straight since I could line them up following those polka dots. Put some ATG tape on the back and put my card front onto a card base. I did leave that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add a stitched circle die cut. I use some of the white shimmer cardstock again, and I am changing this sketch up slightly. I'm putting the circle on the left side. I'm using some red cardstock for that thin banner that goes on top of the circle. And instead of the four inches that I have indicated on the sketch, I cut this piece to three and a fourth inch. I put some scrap cardstock on the right side, and then on the left, I put some thin foam squares, and that'll keep everything nice and level. I'll adhere it in place using some liquid adhesive. Then I'll add one of the sentiments. This is another cut apart. I am cutting a fishtail on the right side, and the sentiment is, thank you so much. I'll adhere it to the center of the red cardstock strip. Then I'll add one of the bird cut aparts. Try to select one that matches that background pattern paper. So I have this larger yellow bird with the orange wings. And then just for a little extra interest, I'm adding a banner in the upper right hand corner using that same red cardstock. I'll put some double sided tape on the back side. And just the very top edge of that banner will go off of that bird pattern paper. So there is my finished card and this is card design number three. There are so many fun bird images. If you are a bird fan, you'll love this pattern paper. Now moving on to card design number four. The card sketch is from MFT, it's number 561. For the background, I have the pattern paper with all the different colored birds. I'm adding a small rectangle of the yellow polka dot paper, and I am layering that on a very similar yellow cardstock. I'll layer the background piece on some black cardstock, and I'll put my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. I love this paper has all the different colors of the birds. Next, I'll add a stitch circle die cut. Use some more of that shimmer cardstock. I am putting some scrap cardstock on just the very right edge of that circle where it goes off of the yellow polka dot paper. Then I'll add a birdhouse that has a sweet little green bird sitting in the opening. Just the very edge of its tail will go off of that circle. I'll also add one of the cut aparts of a teeny tiny little green bird. It is so sweet. I'll just glue that on the right side of the birdhouse. 
For this sentiment, I'm using the green happy birthday. I cut the left side at an angle. I'll put some of that scrap cardstock on the left side where it goes off of the circle die cut and then adhere it to the very left of the birdhouse. And for this card, I am using some bling, but it's nice and flat. These are mini star peel-offs from Love From Lizzie in the gold color. I'll put two of them underneath the sentiment and one on the very top of the birdhouse. So there is my finished card. And again, I did make two using this design. For card design number five, I'll be using a card sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 526. Have some more of the light blue and white polka dot paper for the background, adding a small rectangle of the stripe paper. Just for a little extra detail, I'm putting two Love From Lizzie peel-offs at the very bottom of this polka dot paper. These are the silver holographic color in the pinstripe style. I'm using the narrowest width. And I'll trim off the edges, wrap the ends around the back, then I'll layer this panel on that same blue pearlescent cardstock that I used on a previous card. Put my card front onto a card base, again, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. And of course, I ran out of ATG tape right there. So I'll be using liquid adhesive for the rest of this card. I do have more ATG tape. I just didn't feel like changing it right here. For the two banners indicated on the sketch, I'm cutting a fishtail on the very end. And I'm using just some solid cardstock. The blue is the solid side of that pearlescent cardstock. And then I have some green that matches some of the green on that stripe paper. I did put some scrap cardstock on the lower area of the blue banner. And then I'll also put a narrow strip on the green banner just where it goes off of that blue banner. Glue both of those in place. Then I can add the pattern paper circle die cut. This has more of the little birds and bird houses. Put that scrap cardstock piece on the very right side of that circle and adhere it in place. For this sentiment, I'm using Happy Bird Day. Put some double-sided tape on the back side and adhere it onto the two peel-offs in the lower right-hand corner. Then I have three different cut-aparts, one little bird, and I'll have the bird sit on top of the sentiment. And I decided to add a couple of the butterfly cut-aparts. I have one in a yellowish green color and one in blue. So there is my finished card, and this is card design number five. Now here's a quick recap of the 10 cards I made using Paper Rose Studios Bird Days Paper Collection. I love this collection. The colors are so bright and cheerful. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Paper Rose is located in Australia and they do ship their products internationally, but you can also purchase their products here in the United States and I will have links for both locations in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.